I chose to come to Utah State for a couple of reasons. Um, it was close to home. I grew up in southern Idaho and my sister was here and so she was also in the history department. And so it was just nice to already know someone who was here and who knew the program and could say the professors are great and the program is awesome and Utah State's a great place to live. This campus actually has a lot to offer. Um, the history department is full of professors who are really passionate about what they teach and it makes it makes classes more fun and interesting and it's not just something that you have to get up and do every day, it's something that you kind of look forward to because the professors are really good at keeping the classes engaged. I became frustrated with and for my students in terms of the kind of assignments that were coming back to me in research papers and I began to realize that a lot of the problem, at least in my mind, was in the students learning how to frame a research question. This led to the realization that many of them did not have very basic research and writing skills. Uh, the culmination of this was when I realized a large portion of my class this term had never checked a book out of the library, ever. And when I realized that, this was before the class, when I thought, if this is the level I'm dealing with, we need to back all the way up. What I'm teaching them is how to learn. And this is something I thought I had been doing, and maybe I had. But what I had been doing in the past, I think, is through a combination of my personality and my confidence as a teacher that I made the students compliant to learn what I wanted them to learn. That's changed. Probably the most exciting thing that's happening right now in the department uh, is the discussion that, that turns around the, the, the tuning that's happening statewide because we're actually asking ourselves what experiences make a history major and then asking where do those experiences happen in the curriculum. So it's an exciting moment because we're actually rethinking some of the, our assumptions about how we teach. Western Historical Quarterly came to Utah State in about 1968. The role of the Quarterly in the study of the American West really is as an academic clearinghouse. Uh, we really, um, we're the official journal of the Western History Association. Uh, we both reflect what's going on in the profession, uh, in the field of Western history, reflect that scholarship that's coming out, as well as, as lead where it's going. Well, what I love about working at the Western Historical Quarterly at Utah State is, is that ability to uh, take information from the manuscripts I'm seeing, the submitted work that's coming in, the freshest Western history, and kind of almost immediately go to class and be able to translate that into new information uh, in lectures to students. Uh, I mean, that's one of the great elements, I think, that our graduate students get as well. They're seeing cutting-edge research uh, before it's even published and then being able to translate that for our students, showing them what's new, what's fresh in the field. The WHQ contributes to the graduates uh, program largely through its, its uh, recruitment of graduate students. Uh, our national and international visibility allows us to reach out to our colleagues in the field uh, and to ask them to send us undergraduates uh, to come here uh, and be editorial fellows uh, for two years and do their master's degree. We're a nice intermediate stop for certain students who are trying to decide whether they want to go on or not, or go into something else. And so they can come and do a master's degree, uh, get great training, great credentials of, you know, first person hands-on experience. And then if they decide to go on, we can set them to almost any program they want. We're creating people who, because they think historically, are good communicators, who are, take rational approaches to problem solving, and can function in any job that they have. I and mean, people say, what do you do with a history degree? And my question back is, what can't you do? Because the degree itself gives you a set of skills that you take with you into any sort of job. Yeah.